Alright, welcome back to Project 2 and the Turbo Yamaha S21 build. This is episode 4 of the Scratch Cow build, and today I'll be splitting it into an upper and lower section. But before we do that, we want to lay up a joggle or a lip inside. I used a laser to project the cut line on each side, and then I marked it with tape. Then I measured out the tabs every few inches that I needed to leave in place for the time being and cut along so we could leave the top half of the cowl in place to lay up that joggle against. If you're scratching your head on this one, just keep watching and I promise it'll make sense here shortly. I suppose that this is as good a place as any to throw in my disclaimer again. This isn't how-to instruction, more so it's just how I do these things. I'm not an expert, and what you're seeing is not necessarily the right way to pursue a cow build, it's just the way that I'm doing it, so take that for what it is. Up until now, we really haven't done much inside the structure since we pulled it from the mold, uh, with the exception of a bit of work on the vents up top. Naturally, we got to prep that surface prior to laying up anything, and I've spared you the experience of watching me sand some more, so you are welcome. I started out by laying up some one inch tape above the cut line to serve as my guide. Uh, this will represent how tall I want the joggle to be, so while I lay up the layers inside, I have a visual line to make sure that I go past it and I will have enough to trim back to later. I followed that up with some clear packaging tape from the cut line up a couple inches well past the point I plan to need just to be safe. And now that layup begins. I start with the layup about twice as wide as the joggle itself and lay it in place just a bit higher than the one inch masking tape. I wet out the surface and move on to the next layer. You'll see I made each layer progressively wider as each one goes down a bit further onto the lower cowl. This is to make that surface transition smooth. Also, it just makes for a strong joint between the two surfaces. I followed that up with some peel ply and squeezed out any excess resin and let it set overnight.
And now the fun part. I wedge in a plastic spreader to give me some pressure on that upper section. The goal is to give me some kind of visual indication when I get the tab cut all the way through. I'm trying not to cut into the new layup, but you gotta get through the tab all the way. Cut until it pops out and move that spreader on to the next tab and continue cutting all along that line. I place the cow back on the airplane just for dramatic effect here, but what we end up with is something that does resemble a real airplane cow, and I think we're headed in the right direction. Obviously, I've got some cleanup work to do on the new lip, as well as cleaning up each edge where the little tabs were, but all things considered, I think it went pretty smooth. Next up, I'll be adding some structure inside these two halves, so stay tuned for that, and let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you on the next update, and thanks for watching.